Welcome back, Noel. Looks like Lake Effect snow tapering up, but it was really coming down for a while there. Yeah, and there's more to come, Ben. Yeah, we'll take a little break here. It's going to be brief tonight. Here's a live view across Upper Michigan, West Central and East, and temperatures are below the average. More around this time of the year, it's about mid-30s. We're down to the 20s across the region. Mostly cloudy skies, gloomy, and some leftover snow from our Lake Effect now tapered off over in Marquette. Temperature at 27 degrees, a light westerly wind. Yeah, there's some bluster conditions up in the Keweenaw. We're going to feel that again too. Snow and wind ramping up towards the midweek in Upper Michigan before uh, a pressure is also falling to 9.96 inches on the barometer. Here's our almanac data from National Weather Service Marquette. Got as high as 24 degrees, well below the average and nothing close to that. Record 78 set in 2012. I thought we were on that kind of a pace heading into spring in Upper Michigan. What happened? Today's highs got as high as 36 degrees in Menominee. That is as warm as we got in Upper Michigan. And we talked about the snow. It waned, but in the last two uh, two days, we got up to a foot of some new snow over in the Mount Arvon area near Herman Berriga County, 11 inches. Ironwood around that region, one mile west, 10.8 inches. What happened here? I'm going to zoom out and show you the sea surface temperature anomalies. El Nino has been weakening when El Nino was strong during the winter season. We could tell by looking at the Central Pacific, it's usually more orange and red, but we're starting to see blue, colder surface temperatures. So starting the weekend and all that warm energy moving towards the North Pacific. So we got warmer temperatures. The temperatures of the water reflected the temperatures up in the atmosphere. What's warming up and going up out west is coming down over the east, and that includes upper Michigan, a northwesterly jet to bring in a clipper system between Manitoba and Ontario. That's the next round of snow coming overnight across upper Michigan as our lake effect wanes. It'll be spreading west to east into the late evening hours as we get to Tuesday morning. We'll see some of those snow, light, occasional moderate, get towards Sault Ste. Marie. We're expecting light amounts overall, but just know that it's not over yet. Once we get into the midday, we'll start to experience some lake effect snow, light, occasional, moderate, especially if you're near the Lake Superior shoreline. You're going to be dealing with some gusty winds from the northwest. that will get to 40 miles per hour along the lake shores, and this continues into Wednesday and even in a Thursday. Gale force winds, 40 miles per hour. That's all in the forecast midweek across the UP. It doesn't even stop there. Wednesday afternoon ramping up and will continue into Thursday. Snowfall forecast will be light overall. One to three inches, three inches for areas out east by tomorrow morning. And then it'll start picking up gradually. We'll get to Wednesday. You get the three inches of additional snowfall out east. There could be six inches or more for some areas towards Whitefish Point, And then three inches or more for some areas across the Huron Mountain mountains over in the west and central UP. Driving hazards Tuesday afternoon through Thursday. We're going to be dealing with this, especially near the big lake. So be prepared as we head into spring. That'll officially start tomorrow night in your TV six extended forecast. You see that temperatures will either range around the average or below and the snow does not stop even as we head into next week, Ben. All right, yeah, starting to feel more like winter as winter comes to an end. Yeah, we'll feel right. temperatures in the teens overnight. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Noel. And remember, on the free 